So just this week in the UK we've had a couple of sinkholes and I'm sure you know that it's been happening all over the place basically. Um, but they've just started to happen in the UK which I find strange because we have just started fracking in the UK. Okay, and I found this picture here, it's called the making of a sinkhole and it's showing the man living above ground, you've got your well, your water going underneath, that's where it's coming from, going back up into the house. There's the sinkhole has appeared. Next to it there's a pond, which I'm sure isn't that much pressure, they're saying it's pressure from a standing water. There's the aquifers down there, which is where our water comes from. And above here you've got some men who are, well it says vibrations from new construction. I thought to myself, oh, so they're trying to say the making of sinkhole has something to do with vibrations and something to do with construction, but above ground. Oh, okay. So let's have a look at this picture. This is a picture explaining what, let's not get it twisted. I don't know why we call it fracking, okay? It's just to make it sound not as bad as it is. It's hydraulic fracturing. Fracturing, okay? Now, what are they fracturing? Let's have a look. So they dig deep into earth, all the way down, all the way down. And it's at this point here where they do the fracturing. So they're splitting the earth beneath us just to have these gases released. And they're using water, sand and chemicals are being put down into earth. Okay. And then what's happening is these chemicals, I'll go back to the other picture. The chemicals that then, then, releasing down below here are coming up into the water that we drink. So not only is it messing with the natural waters of earth, but it's also causing the sinkholes that we're seeing. This must be what it is. Because if you think about all these drills all over the world and they're fracturing earth like this, you know, Either way, whether or not this is Mother Nature now doing these sinkholes and saying no, or it is a direct result of the fracturing that they're doing. They are fracturing Earth, guys. Mother Earth is being really, really injured by this. It's injuring Earth itself and it is messing with our water. And only God knows what else is down there is being released at the same time that they're getting this shell gas. And I find the whole thing disgusting. And it's absolutely disgusting what we're doing as humans to our own planet. And as for you, David Cameron, you disgust me. You are going around bribing everybody with extra money. Any councils that say, yeah, they, they'll do this, they're going to get extra money. And people are just thinking about money. Well, you know what? Stop thinking about only the money. And you think about stepping out of your house and being swallowed by a sinkhole because of hydraulic fracturing that you signed up for and that you said was OK to pierce Mother Earth like this. Yeah, look at this. OK. That's what these men are doing for a little bit of gas. And I'm going to just end this video on a video that I made two years ago now. And I'm just going to play out with this. Oceans were clean and fresh. The forests and the trees grew strong and healthy, giving in abundance to earth. But the soil and the earth was rich and fertile, providing everything necessary for mankind. The sun shone brightly.
providing life and health for all. That was in the long ago. Times have changed. Today, man has technology. The sky is no longer blue. Many birds are dying. The oceans are no longer clean and fresh. Mother Earth is being abused and injured. Modern technology, instead of leading to free energy, is leading man to become even more destructive. Fracking, mining, tectonic weaponry, nuclear testing in the oceans, all these things are destroying planet Earth. So to all you guys that agree to this, if you sign up to fracture Mother Earth anymore, then we're, we're going to pay. We're going to pay big time for what we're doing to this planet. Yeah? It's third strike and we're out, I feel, for this planet right now. And there are certain men out there who are just determined to mess up this world. And I, for one, do not give my consent to pierce Mother Earth all around this, this planet and do what they are doing just for a little bit of gas. It's time to free up that free energy and leave planet Earth alone.